This is a toy spot on the DC Universe Wave 13 Negative Man. Not necessarily a figure I was looking forward to getting, but uh, once in hand, I think actually he's a decent, he seems to be a pretty decent looking figure. Um, I Much like uh, Blue Devil, I really don't know a lot about Negative Man, um, aside from the fact that he was in Doom Patrol. Um, but he does come with the, I guess, the tr the staff and the the arm of, uh, of Trident. He also is... Uh, Figure one from the Wave 13 set, so I'm completely doing these off, um, off uh, from the the order that they've got listed on the side here. Um, on the back, I say Tridon, I try gone. I guaranteed I'm going to say Trident several times um, in these next couple of reviews, but the Collect and Connect figure is try gone from the DC Universe Wave 13. The other figures in this wave, we've got, of course, Negative Man. We've got Superboy Cyclotron as the superpower, hey, the superpower addition to the wave. Seems every wave now they're doing a, uh, a uh, um, superpowers uh, addition. Uh, we've also got Golden Pharaoh up, up, up and coming, which is uh, gonna be pretty cool as well. Uh, we've got the modern Blue Beetle, we've got Cheetah. Blue Devil and Donna Troy. The variants in the set, uh, we have a modern cheetah. Uh, we also have a negative man uh, with the exposed face. I ended up picking up this set, this entire set, from Big Bad Toy Store. Um, I pre-ordered the set when they, uh, when they first dropped news um, about the wave. And when I honestly saw the negative man, I saw the two versions. I saw the the masked version, and then I saw the version where uh, the the face was open, the exposed, and I think he had like a clear face, like a clear plastic face. But then you could look inside, and you could actually see like a, a, a skeletal skull. Um, I honestly, I'll tell you right off the bat, maybe it's just the fact that I don't follow Doom Patrol very very much, and by very much I mean not at all. But I don't. I was really looking forward to getting the bandaged version of Negative Man more than anything else. And sure enough, that's what I ended up getting. And as soon as I got him out of the box, I was pulling out the figures, I looked at him like, yes! Because I really, I, I don't know, I really didn't want the uh, the unmasked uh, Negative Man. Just call it really, chalk it up to an, a matter of preference, really. Uh, the biography reads, uh, Larry Trainer's career as a test pilot ended tragically when he flew through a radiation field. Yeah, that would probably end things pretty tragically. Um, the accident caused his body to emit deadly radiation that can only be contained by shielded bandages as well as the ability to release from his body a negatively charged phantom. Trainer became a founding member of the Doom Patrol with other heroes who gained powers from tragic accidents. First appearance, My Greatest Adventure, number 80, June 1963, real name, Larry Trainer, Occupation Test Pilot, Base of Operations, Doom Patrol Headquarters in Oolong Island. Special abilities, Negative Spirit can fly, pass through solid matter, and cause explosions. So if you didn't know, now you know. Um, that's packaging on Negative Man. What we'll do is we'll get this opened up and we will have a better look at the Doom Patrol member, Negative Man. Stay tuned. Uh, the button that Negative Man comes with is a button with a uh, picture of Batman, of all things, on the front. And uh, being that I don't follow Doom Patrol, there's probably a reason for it. I don't know, maybe Batman was with the Doom Patrol for a while. I know he was with the Outsiders for a while. But there you go. Also want to point out too, as a small public service announcement, uh, when you're opening up your packaging, be sure to go back and double check that you got the button. This is now the second review that I've done 
where I've taken the figure out of the packaging and I've kind of put the packaging aside, I kind of just thrown it to the side, and completely forgetting the fact that the button was in the front of the package right at the bottom corner. And uh, this is again the, now the second time that I've gone, looked down and said, oh, I forgot the button. This is what happens when you've reviewed the DC Universe figures, the older waves. Um, you just tend to forget the fact that they've actually thrown a button in there as well. Still don't know what I'm going to do with these buttons, but he does come with a button. The Collect and Connect piece for your checklist, if you're doing a checklist of these guys. Negative Man comes with the other arm. A nicely sculpted arm, too, because he's got a nice uh, kind of... I don't know, he's kind of got this cool hand kind of going on there. He's like, hey, come on. Hey, buddy, come here. Um, but we'll take the other arm, and we'll take the upper torso of Trigon. I'm going to remember this. It's Trigon. Um, and we're just going to plug it into place. Sometimes the arms I find are a little difficult to get in there. And just like that, we've got the upper torso complete. Mind you, he has no head, so he's not much of a threat. But uh, we've still got several figures to go, so guaranteed we're going to have a figure, a finished Trigon sooner or later. Um, also, Negative Man does come with his staff. Now, would you call this a staff? I guess it does resemble a staff. With a kind of neat looking dragon of some sort on the top there. And what I like is the fact that his tail wraps around uh, wraps around the, the top of his staff as, as an ornament. A little decorative ornament there. Um, this reminds me of the G.I. Joe movie with the time worm that wraps around the staff while the spores are in space being uh, uh, matured by the power of the BET. How's that for getting way off topic, eh? Uh, but he does come with his staff. I mean, I could put the staff in his hand, but really, he, at the end of it, he's still got no legs, no head. So we'll just put that aside. There is much more coming with him, but we'll worry about that later. And we'll look at Negative Man. And uh, knowing this much, as I said with the Blue Devil, knowing this much about Negative Man, um, as an honest first person's uh, uh, first person, as as an honest uh, in hand opinion of this figure, it is actually really decent. Um, it's not a bright red. I, I I don't know the reason why they didn't go with a brighter red. Um, it's a bit of a, a faded red. But uh, the coloring actually is very nice. I like it quite a bit. It also probably helps as well that I, I've i liked the uh, like the Invisible Man and, and stuff like that from the League of Extraordinary Gentlemen and Memoirs of an Invisible Man, if anyone saw that with Chevy Chase. So Bandage Guys, oh and Dark Man, can't forget Dark Man. Bandage Guys, I always seem to dig. I don't know, I, I, like, I like Bandaged Guys. Um, the head actually is very nice, despite the fact it's just bandages, but I like that they've got these slits. It's not just painted, I mean it definitely looks like it's indented where you could see his mouth, his eyes. I really like that. Um, I mean there's not a lot to be said for the body, a very basic body. We've got the belt with the D on the front there for Doom Patrol. I mean one would almost say that his his costume is very similar to Dead Man in the fact that this is open, uh, white, whereas you know Dead Man this was open. He had the collar, but very similar in design. I am pretty happy though that I didn't get the the unmasked version. Uh, yes, it probably would have been cooler looking, but I, I do like I like the bandaged head a lot more. I think. Um, in the way of his articulation, uh, once again, lots of articulation in the head. He, These new DC Universe figures are impressing me quite a bit with the amount of articulation that their heads have. Um, the neck is a separate piece just because it's bandaged, but you can't do anything with it. I mean, it's just a, an additional piece. 
Uh, he has the ball jointed shoulders, uh, the bicep rotation. You can bend the elbows, rotate the hands. Uh, you can bend the mid torso. Uh, you can also rotate the waist. You can bend the legs out, in and out, back and forth, rotate the thigh. You can bend the knee, and finally, you can bend the foot. Uh, so the articulation would be the same as every other DC Universe figure. Um, but I mean, overall, I like this figure. And I have to point out again that the quality seems quite fantastic on these figures. Uh, these joints aren't loose at all. I, I, I've i yet knock on, well, it's not really wood, but um, I have yet to actually come across a figure in this wave, at least of the three that I've done so far, uh, where quality between paint and the, the the stiff joints, I've yet to come across a bad figure. Um, now, I don't know a lot about Negative Man, as I mentioned with uh, also Blue Devil, um, but if I was just to base my review on simply the figure alone um, and the sculpt on the face and everything else, uh, I like it quite a bit, and I'm going to give this figure a 6. Um, if I follow Doom, Doom Patrol a little bit more, I might maybe have given him a higher mark, but he is still a decent figure. Um, but that was a toy spot. Today we were looking at the DC Universe Wave 13 Trigon Wave, and today we were looking at the, the I guess the original version, the normal uh, version of Negative Man. Um, will I ever pick up the variant of negative, negative Man? Maybe. I don't know. Probably not, though. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. There's still many more DC Universe Wave 13 reviews to come. I think we're about... Uh, maybe oh, We're almost halfway through, I think. We're about halfway through. Um, so there's lots more to come, guys. Stay tuned for that. And I'll see you guys next time.